Hi guys, I'm Dr. Silas, back here again in the channel. I am one of the pediatric residents in Brookdale Hospital. I'm making this video because I wanted to wish you all of you guys uh, best of luck for your maths, uh, maths day. I hope you guys all get maths day in the United States. I will be coming up with a lot of videos regarding after maths processes and uh, after maths tips if I get time sometime soon. Um, but this video will be regarding housing and accommodation, how to find it and what are the things that you should know before uh, considering an apartment. I know this is not the right time uh, to think about after maths processes but eventually you guys will get maths so this is a thing that you, you should definitely think at some point of time. So I'm making this video. I hope you guys uh, see the, this video and will it will be helpful for you at some point of time. One of the things that you should consider while finding an, an apartment for you is uh, the amount of money that you are going to spend on it. As a resident, your monthly stipend would be from 3500 to 5000 That would be a net uh, amount that you, in, that you will be getting in your bank account. And uh, that is why you don't want to get a very good apartment uh, for living and uh, you won't have money to spend on your food and the regular utility bill as well. After keeping that thing in mind, I want you guys to start searching for apartments soon after you guys get asked. I'm saying this because uh, you will have much more option if you start from the very beginning and you won't be in a rush at the end. So there are several ways uh, how you can find apartments and uh, I'm gonna tell few of them which I know. You can also find other ways of searching in internet as well. Uh, but apartment.com is one of the ways you can find the apartment. Um, you just want to make sure that you are uh, searching the apartment nearby the hospital you get masked. Uh, otherwise it's gonna be a problem. And other way is finding apartments via several apps. The apps that I know of is Trulia and uh, it's pretty easy. You can install this app wherever you want, you are right now. And uh, from this app, you can find the apartments and uh, you can try to contact the landowner as well with uh, through these apps uh, so that uh, it will be easy for you after coming to United States. So the third way is a bit difficult, but uh, this is also a great way to find apartments. Uh, you have to come to United States and stay in Airbnb for a while and you start searching searching for it It has a very good prospect in a way that you can also see the community at the same time and decide whether to not, uh, Whether or not to stay in that community and you can also decide uh, looking at uh, the distance from the hospital as well. So that is a uh, good part of uh, this method. The other way is uh, searching through the seniors at uh, the program where you get masked. Try to contact the seniors or the chief residents at, at the program where you got masked and ask them where is the best place to stay or if there is any place that is going to be vacant if after the residents leave. And in that way, you can find a very good apartment uh, as well. And the last uh, way that I know of is via program coordinators. These are the people which program, you know, specifically tells uh, to help you guys to get uh, get an apartment, get an accommodation. So you can also get an apartment via them as well. So these are the ways that you can uh, utilize to find an apartment for you. However, one of the things that you should consider while finding an apartment is uh, knowing how safe is the place to stay because there are certain places where you absolutely cannot stay. Uh, especially in places in, in, in a state like New York and also in, I guess, Michigan, there are places uh, where it's really unsafe to stay. So you might have to know about those places as well. Finally, this is one of the crucial points that I'm going to share with you guys today. Uh, and it is about finding an apartment nearby the hospital. I'm telling you because uh, this is really important. You don't have much time as a resident in United States. Um, that's why you want to save uh, the time wherever it's possible and I think the best possible way to save time is finding an apartment nearby the hospital. I was working in Michigan as an observer and I used to travel two hours per day and sometimes it used to be like three or more uh, per day and it was really really stressful that's why I was very determined to stay nearby the hospital and luckily I found an apartment nearby the hospital as well and this saves me a lot of time. So those were the things that I wanted to share with you guys today. I hope this video was helpful for you and if there is anything else that you'd like to know in future, you can just uh, comment in the comment section and I'll try to make it. Okay, uh, good luck for your maths, maths day. Hopefully see you in next video.